My name is Alexander Strabik and I am a developer working on Rational Design Manager project and in this video I would like to show you the new query editing features which are available in Rational Design Manager version 4.0. In version 4.0, each project of design management application has a list of queries. In order to check this list, you should click on Design top menu and select Queries option on the Browse section there. As you will see, each project already contains a set of predefined queries, and if you want to run a query, you can select the corresponding button in the right action column. Let's run Class Type Listing Query, and here you can see that all UML classes existing in the project are listed. Now it's time to create our own query. To do so, you can click Create Query button in the Query List page. And here is the Query Editor. These two fields are used to specify query's title and description, this section is used to specify query's condition, and this section is used to specify query's results sorting. Let's consider the following example. We want to find resources that were created by current user, whose name is test, and were modified during last three days. To do so, I click Add Condition button and select Created by and Modified Date Condition. In Created by Condition, I select the current user. This widget allows to select several users at once if you hold Ctrl or Shift. And in Modified Date, I specify three days ago. As you can see, Modified Date Condition widget has an option selector in its top. For the current example, after including is the proper option. Modified by and created date condition work similarly. Now we can save the query, run it and check its results. As you can see, all these resources were modified during the last three days. Resources in just based application can have typed links to other resources, even in other applications. For example, one can create a link from a design resource to a requirement causing such design. Let's create a query that will look for UML packages that have links to requirements. In order to do so, I use link condition and ontology specific type condition. In the link condition, I select derived from link type, which is usually used to link with requirements, and in type condition, I select UML package. You can see that the list of type is filtered as soon as I start typing, and you can select several types in the same list. Now I can save the query run it and check its result. So you can see that one package is found and it really has links to requirements resources. The last query I want to show you in this video will look for UML operations. This is why I have type condition here with UML operation type selected in it. Let's find operation that either have is query property set to true or have the word get in their names. To do so I first add logical condition. You can see that there is a list of logical operators available, but any can match is the one we need for this example. Then inside the logical condition I add property value subcondition and name subcondition. Since name condition supports wildcards, it is easy to specify that get should be a part of operation's name. And in property condition I first locate this query property and then since the properties type is boolean, I set its value to true by clicking on the checkbox. Also, I want the operations to be sorted by their names in anti-alphabetical order. Now I can save the query, run it, and observe its results. Here we can see a list of operations, properly sorted, and if I click on an operation that doesn't have the word get in its name, we can see that it has is query property set to true. Thank you very much for your time and don't forget to visit just.net to check on the latest news about design management project.